Hey there, witches, wizards, and non-binary magicians. Welcome back to the Room of Requirement. My name's Joy, and I'll be your Defense Against the Orange Arts instructor. Today, I'm going to teach you a skill that's important for any member of Dumbledore's army. How to work with the media, or as I like to call it, outsmarting Rita Skeeter. So when you're building a social movement, you want everyone to know what you're doing, right? Well, the media can be a really effective way to get your message out. But working with the media is also tricky. Sometimes the Daily Prophet lies and says climate change isn't real, and we aren't ruled by a group of fascist death eaters. So to work with the media, you're going to need some skills. But don't worry, I can break it down for you so it's as simple as swish and flick. First, identify your goal. Maybe you want everyone to come to a protest next week. Or maybe you want to challenge the mainstream media portrayals of werewolves. Those are both great goals, but meeting them will require different strategies. Clearly identifying your goal will help you be more effective. Next, craft your message. Your message is the most important idea that you want to convey. You're going to want to write it down in one or two sentences using words that are simple and powerful. That's called a soundbite, and it's what you'll use to talk to the press. This step is really, really important, so you're going to want to take your time. Share your soundbite with the other activists you're working with and make sure everyone feels good about it. Next, pick your messenger. When we do activism, we center the voices of people directly impacted by oppression. So if you're demonstrating for elf liberation, don't ask Hermione to be your media representative. Let Dobby speak for himself. This step is about reflecting our values and embodying the change that we want to see in the world. But it's also really good media strategy because reporters want to speak to people who can talk about their own story. So you're ready to talk to the press. Congratulations. But when you do, make sure that you select reporters who can help you meet your goals. Try to develop relationships with media outlets who might be sympathetic to your cause. But no matter how much you trust a reporter, make sure you stay on message. Whatever question they ask you, go back to the soundbite that you developed with your team. And remember, whatever you say, a reporter can quote it. Um, and you never know when um, they might be an animagus who can turn into a bug and go flying around and listening to, listen to everything you say. And then they can twist your words and print misinformation in the Daily Prophet. Oh wait, I should stay on message. That's everything you need to know to start working with the media. Working with the media is going to require preparation and practice, but it can be really powerful. Just one more idea. Don't forget to call the quibbler. Sometimes we have to be our own media outlets. So snap a pic, accio parchment, and write your own blog post. Send out an owl. Um, I hear that there's this new thing called twi tweeting. Tweeting? Um, I'm not sure if it's the owl that tweets or if you need a different bird, but I hear really good things about it. Whatever you do, never hesitate to share your message with the people who are closest to you. Remember, we're trying to build a movement. Thanks so much for joining me here in the Room of Requirement. I can't wait to read about your activism on the pages of the Daily Prophet. Bye!